Why is it not okay to play on broken reeds? Let's find out together for science. Jimmy the science guy. Jim, 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 Jim. Jimmy the science guy. But actually a music teacher. Jimmy. The air traveling between the reed and the mouthpiece on a clarinet or a saxophone makes the sound. The reed needs to be able to vibrate. Your air needs to be able to go through. Having a broken reed can cause all sorts of problems. For a control, here's what I sound like with a reed that I've broken in, but not used to the point of where it's ruined. One of the most common issues with a reed is a split down the middle. Don't try this at home. I'm doing this off camera because it'll probably get demonetized if I have blades on the screen. Maybe you can see I cut a slit down right here. Let's hear how that affects our sound. This is playing with one single slit down the reed. That didn't make any difference that I could hear. I think we're okay. Let's do more. The next kind of damage you see is when we have a chip. Maybe you hit your music stand, maybe you bumped it on your teeth. I will try to recreate one small chip into the reed. Maybe we hit it on our mouthpiece. Now we have a divot out of the top. Let's see if that makes any difference. We have a mostly intact reed still. Now we got to go a little bit more. Oh, oh no, you lost part of the corner of it. All right, we'll just peel that off and put it back on. through it now there's definitely a gap here on this side of the mouthpiece where air is leaking through and it's not making a good seal so you can hear that H sound every time I play a note I'm not much of a saxophone player myself but you can notice the tone starting to diminish band directors would be catching on by this point maybe hopefully time for the wall test Ooh. Oh no, we, oh, the top of our reed is, is messed up. So this got smushed over on the wall, or maybe a music stand, maybe hit your mouthpiece or your teeth. Let's see how this plays. Don't tell me you've never been curious how bad you could let your reed get before you needed to switch it out. Oh God, it's not working. It's blocking off the air with how it's bent down. Instead of being able to vibrate and flex, it's blocking the entire airstream. I can fix this. Here's where we have the student say, I can save it, I'll just trim off the bad parts. Okay. That's pretty close to smooth at the top. This is broken reed, but we fixed it with nail clippers. Wink, wink. <laughs> The shorter you make your reed, the harder it is because it's harder down near the bottom, it's more flexible near the top. So if you were to hypothetically trim off part of the end, you've now made the reed much harder. This was a two and a half, it's at least to a three and a half by now with how much I've cut off. Still getting a lot of air raspiness. I think some air's leaking around the seal. It's not a very good trim at the top. Nobody's gonna say, I like your cut, G. Prep it for surgery. You think I'm joking?
These are both reads collected from students in real life in the last two years. Let's see if this one can still play. This read sucks. Let's recap what we've learned. Playing on broken reads is not a good idea. Regularly switch out your reads anytime they break, get moldy, you get sick, if there's a chip or a split. I usually supply my students with Ricos or Junos. They're, they're not the most professional brands. They're only about four or five dollars per read, which is affordable for a lot of my students. It's not the worst thing in the world to have three or four reads in rotation, put a number on them, switch them out regularly, and when number three breaks, get a new number three and that's a fresh one, you'll break it in over time. Hopefully you're convinced now, if you didn't believe your band director before, hopefully you're convinced now, playing on a broken read is a bad idea. Trying to fix a broken read is like trying to date a bad guy. Oh, I can fix him. No, you can't. He's never going to change. Stay in band. Don't play on broken reads.